Hello everybody, my name is Eric. Have you ever received a message from a friend on Discord that didn't look quite right? Have you ever gotten a Discord message that sent you to a sketchy go file link? Yeah, I think we've all been there. Oh, do you like my new desktop background? I've done a bit of work on the work VM, uh, updated it to Windows 11, and I've also uh, put a nice uh, desktop background to make it a bit more appealing. So, this is called Eclipse OG. Now, I don't know what this is. What I do know is the file size makes me wonder about PyCylon. It's got a very strange icon that looks like a Windows icon. We can look at our details. Is there? No, there's no valid digital signature. I don't know if Eclipse OG is a cheat or if it's just a random name. The Discord message came with a thing saying you have to try this. So we can be pretty certain this is either a stealer or a rat. Never ever, especially if you get an urgent message from a friend telling you you have to run an executable file, they can try and tell you, oh, it's a game, it's some sort of a cool thing. Never ever do it. In fact, you should really never urgently click on a link because, and I just got this comment on the previous video, so I thought I'd just go over it. No, a link isn't almost certainly isn't going to completely take over everything, but they can still get information about you that they may be planning to use against you. So, let's take a look. So let's do a little bit of static analysis. Just want me just look inside the program to see what's going on. Ensys, okay, so this is a, a Nullsoft uh, installer, which means we can actually extract this with 7-zip rather than having to execute it. I believe uh, the actual payload is going to be in this file. And what we have here is an Electron app. So the Nullsoft installer was actually being used to package that. And within that, within the app.asol file, we can probably find the real code. Wow, there is a lot. So this is probably going to be... Okay, we'd have to use... There's plenty of ways of getting that out if we need to do that. But looking at the size of it, it's probably going to be quite obfuscated. So we've got this... So we've got an Electron app, and then there is going to be the runner for it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a sandbox, and we're going to actually test this file out. Before that, we're going to show a brief message from any run who were nice enough to sponsor this video and uh, give us access to their sandbox so we can do more testing. Any run is the cloud sandbox that lets you rapidly test any executable for malicious behavior instantly from anywhere. With customizable analysis, anyone from beginners to advanced cybersecurity specialists will benefit from this platform. It's fully interactive, just like your own virtual machines. It supports all recent versions of Windows and Ubuntu, and hot off the presses, they've just added Android support as well. Subscribe if you want to see it. And requires zero manual setup. It's like having your own malware lab without any of the hassle. They also have proxy and residential options, test malware that behaves differently around the world, and even the option to use your own open VPN server for maximum customization. If this sounds exciting to you, you can get started for free with your business email by clicking the link in the video description. Now back to the main video. And one nice feature we have is this residential proxy, because some of these rats will actually check to try and avoid uh, getting caught. Well, we'll make this private uh, so so that they can avoid actually no I'll, I'll make it public just because I want people to be able to see uh, the report as well so we're uploading the file and we've pretty much immediately gotten some red flags oh no it took a screenshot which is not usually a great sign so it's checking oh that's an interesting method of escalating then it checks our session it all looks like anti-analysis wasp stealer <laughs> oh god they've actually got like a little ransomware payload they've got communist bugs bunny now it's rpc your administrator rights have been modified you can't use admin program anymore okay that's actually hilarious uh, and i'm just looking through to see what else it does i just closed <laughs> oh that's that's funny so I guess then it must create a second account and take away your admin that way. And here is actually the source code, which is not really obfuscated, uh, telling us to go to a telegram called Nova Blight. 
And they've also got a store listing where we can see exactly uh, what these guys are doing. I have a feeling they got some sort of open source uh, JavaScript stealer and they're just using that Nova Blight access key. I assume this is their... Uh, this is uh, their... Oh, it's an ethical stealer. Well, it's like that meme I saw. For educational purposes only. Uh, for educational purposes, it's, it's like the new version of it. it's just a prank, bro. Like, what is this? For edu for ethical purposes, uh, you can get security and ease of use with an info stealer. I don't get it. There is theoretically, there is, like, for a rat, there are theoretically ethical reasons. Like, for your own remote desktop, fine. Okay, maybe that's, maybe that's ethical. Maybe it's for monitoring employees. There is no ethical reason to ever have an info stealer that uses Telegram and Discord bots. Discord is actually getting a lot better at nuking Discord bots that are being used for this kind of crime, which is good. So there you go, for 25 euros a month. I'm just going to see who's... Are they taking like all these legit payment services? Bill gang. Maybe they don't know what they're hosting. That's hilarious. And I assume then when they get your data, they will take this and they will take over your account and use it and send all your friends uh, a link to install communist Bugs Bunny onto your computer as well. Yep, and it does use IP info, which is why by using the residential proxy, we were able to bypass that anti-analysis. And there's a hit to GitHub user content. It doesn't look like we're actually, looks like this all works out of the box. And they immediately advertise their name, which is actually kind of clever because what some people may not know is there's actually a victim to criminal pipeline. Most people who do this stuff are quite young. And the way they get into it is they, they will fall victim to a rat or a stealer and they'll be like, oh, oh, people can do that. I want to do that. Don't do this. Like, look, don't go down this rabbit hole. Uh, what will eventually happen is they'll do bolder and bolder and dumber and dumber things. And one day they will find themselves in a situation where they will actually either get arrested or come within a hair of getting arrested. And they will, uh, they will, as they say, find out. For sake of YouTube, I'm not going to say what the first step in that process is. But that's what generally happens. So that's going to be all for this video. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I severely suggest to any aspiring threat actors, you skip step one and avoid step two of finding out. Bye.